Well, graduate students at some of the country's most well-known business schools also have a growing interest in Bitcoin, and it's impacting their career decisions, steering them away, in some cases, from traditional Wall Street. Seema Modi is at the Wharton School of Business in Philadelphia. A growing number of students are saying no to traditional finance roles and are increasingly looking to blockchain and cryptocurrencies for opportunity. Quite a large number of students in the class who I've seen come from private equity, hedge fund, consulting, you know, those traditional backgrounds and, and have foregone the chance to, to go back to that traditional path and instead are looking at, at how best to immerse themselves in, in the blockchain and cryptocurrency world. Earlier this year, Stanford MBA student Robbie Michnick, along with other classmates, wrote a letter to Stanford faculty requesting a class to be taught on blockchain. Stanford was quick to respond. The first comprehensive class on blockchain and cryptocurrencies will be taught in spring of 2018. A similar story is playing out across the country at Harvard Business School. Colleagues in finance, in entrepreneurship, in strategy, in technology and operations, all thinking about, you know, how, how, does, how do we think about the blockchain and the set of questions it raises in our, in our disciplines? And the demand from the students, I think, surpasses that. As students prepare to enter the corporate world, data shows that employers' interest in blockchain experience is rising. Global freelancing firm Upwork says blockchain was the second fastest growing skill in the third quarter out of more than 5,000 skills on the platform. In fact, Upwork saw an astounding 2,600% jump in freelancer billings for blockchain compared to the same time last year. As demand grows, business school students across the nation are launching blockchain clubs to learn, collaborate and connect with like-minded individuals. Students are now approaching the critical recruiting season, which kicks off in early January. It will serve as a real-world indicator as to whether students can land a job that utilizes blockchain technologies. Some say this field offers more promise long-term than a traditional role in finance. My immediate goal is to work for like a blockchain incubator or like a venture fund. Um, investing in blockchain companies. I am looking to transition to the technology space uh, and blockchain is something which I'm looking at keenly. Uh, mostly because I see it as a, the next wave of disruption. In the next 20 years there's going to be a whole host of applications that we can't even dream of today. Still, some business school students prefer playing it safe saying they're skeptical of Bitcoin's rise and all the hype surrounding blockchain. They also say the lack of regulation and central bank oversight is a major concern. Everyone's looking for the popular trend. I've definitely heard of people that were in investment management that want to sort of go to more blo uh, blockchain, Bitcoin type, because it, it's a sort of, you know, it's a different risk return profile. It's a higher upside. Now I'm still a stocks guy, but uh, I, I think I look more at the fundamentals. But Wharton Business School professor Kevin Werbach says over time, this technology will prove to be indispensable. I think of blockchain very much like the Internet 20 years ago. We're going to look back 20 years from now, and it's going to be hard to talk about any company of any size, and, and maybe really any company at all, that doesn't have some application of blockchain technology. For Nightly Business Report, Seema Modi in Philadelphia.